guys welcome to another video thank you to all my beautiful subscribers for your ongoing support and hello and welcome to any new subscribers that might be joining my channel thank you for constantly supporting me through my journey and leaving comments and likes on all my videos I really really appreciate it and I just I'm very grateful for each and every one of you uh, today's video is going to be doing our target bills unstuffing for the month so I have gone through our direct debit account, worked out what direct debits have come out, tallied them up, and we can unstuff the money and take it back to the bank for next month. So let's jump straight into it, making sure, don't mind my cute little new, my seven-year-old gave me her oh, Squishmallow sticker, so he's going to just sit in there. <laughs> Okay, so Amanda's phone, which is me, came up to a total of $100 this month. So let's take that out in 20s and leave some of the bigger notes in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Olive. No, I'm going to get rid of some fives. 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. And then we can leave. So that means we still have 1, 150, 2, 220, 240, 260, 280. And that still covers us till January we are working on. Oh no, February. Wayne's phone, which is my husband. That was a total of $60 this month. My book's not sitting next to me. It's going to fall. Okay, so 60. So 10, 20, 40, 60. So he now has 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 275. Netflix and Foxtel was a total of $93.19, so we will be taking out $95, 50 That leaves us with 1, 152, 220, 230, 240. Health was $12 this month. Um, we might just take out the 10 and the $2 can just come out of the buffer. So health has 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars left. Subscriptions was 19 dollars and 99 cents. So we're taking 20. Let's get rid of two of the 10. Now now has 20, 40, 50. Union is the last one which was forty four dollars and forty cents and we will take out forty five so we will drop them two and a five so one hundred one twenty one thirty one hundred and forty left for union fees and unbudgeted We might just take $5 out of that one to cover that $2 fee for the direct debit for the health. They charge $2 if it's direct debit instead of you paying it, which that's fine by me. And the other $3 can just go towards the cushion. That's what this envelope is for, anything unbudgeted, so bank fees or whatever. Or if we maybe hire a movie on Foxtel, 
if I can come out of that. That's just anything I'm budgeted. And this at the back is just the $500 challenge that I'm doing. And when that's complete, we can do a bonus cash stuffing for our target bills. So that can get put aside. And we will just bring out our target bills tracker. This was purchased from Taylor Louise Budgets on Etsy. Um, let me just find my Sharpie. This one will do. And we're just going to tick off that we have unstuffed October's bills. And as you can see, I still I have all of November, December and almost all of January covered for our Tiger bills. So I can't wait to get to the end of the year and then work out maybe taking everything out of the envelopes and restuffing them. To see because I put 90 away a month for our phone and my husband's was only 60 this month so it won't match up so what I might do at the end of the year is unstuff every envelope and then just reallocate it see how we go okay so what are we taking back to the bank Going back to the bank is 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, $335 will be going back to the bank and can sit in the account awaiting for November direct debits to come out. Beautiful. That is everything from me today. A nice quick video. And just showing you guys how I do my target bills. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you are doing something very similar. Or if it's something that you're willing to give a go. Um, even if you just put away a little bit. If you can from each paycheck. Just to get in front of one bill. Um, it's just a real big weight off your shoulders. To slowly start moving ahead in your bills. Um, I do understand that a lot of people are in different situations, so don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. But like I said, even if you can put $5 to $10 weight extra out of your pay and just work on getting ahead in one bill. Uh, moving forward is better than not, so always try to just put something aside if you are capable of doing it. And it takes time, so don't pressure yourself that something isn't working in the first two weeks, three weeks. It takes time. You need to give it a go. And you will reap the rewards at the end of it. Um, I've been doing this now for a little bit. And I'm just so proud that we've come so far. And I have learned to not compare myself to anyone else that I watch. My journey is my journey. Our budget is our budget everyone is different so that's what you need to understand and the minute you understand that and focus on yourself and your priorities is when you will start seeing it work for you all right thank you so much for joining me please make sure to hit like and subscribe if you found this content helpful and i will see you in my next video bye guys